so great so that like a butterfly. That was definitely more like a pterodactyl. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to a different part of my bedroom. Today I'm going to be having another Sasha's Reading Corner because I just want to sit down and chat with you guys, like tell you what I'm reading, what type of bookshelves do I have, maybe answer a few questions that I know you guys have been wanting me to answer. I also felt really motivated to film this video by 9 o'clock at night when I should be reading, but I did a video, you know, it, it just happens sometimes and that's okay, trust me. So I am currently reading Hawkeye on the cover by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I mean, The Return by Jennifer L. Armentrout. But there is a very Hawkeye on the cover. Hello, baby. I swear that was only half the reason I got this book. I'm kidding, it also sounds super good. This book takes place after the Covenant series. The Covenant series is Jennifer L. Armentrout's other book series that she has. She has many, like, lots. But that's her Greek mythology series. And it's very good. I loved it so much. I thought it was a really fun, easy series to read with a kick-ass storyline and awesome characters. So of course I had to pick up The Return, which follows a character from the Covenant series, Seth. Seth was my favorite character in the Covenant series because he's so sarcastic, so sassy, so awesome. And I'm like, there's a book gonna be about him? Yes. But yeah, this book follows Seth and this girl named Josie, and he has to protect Josie because she ends up being a blank. Read the book if you want to know what she is. And Seth being the Apollyon, which is the powerfulest creature on Earth besides the gods, he needs to go protect her from the people that that want to get her and it's going to be such a good book. I'm reading it right now and I'm already like laughing at every single word in this book in a good way because Jennifer Armitrop uses just like the perfect language to make somebody laugh. Not giggle, laugh. Like <laughs> Oh my god, that was horrible fake laughter. This is why I'm not an actress. But yeah, so that's what I'm currently reading. I'm on the 39th page, yeah. And I'm going to be reading it all throughout the night tonight because, come on, it sounds amazing and I feel like I can get through this book very quickly. Next is an invention that I found at Barnes & Noble. It's the coolest thing ever. It's a coffee mug or a tea mug, what I use it for, but with a top. So your tea or coffee does not get cold. Not cold, very nice. I'm currently drinking a Barnes & Noble tea, which is by Henry & Sons, and that is a tropical green tea, which has some pineapple in it, and it's so freaking good. I love green tea. It's my favorite tea in the universe. <sighs> Oliver, stop barking. Stop barking. Ah, barking. I've also been recently working on this little itinerary book that I've been making for Scotland because I'm like, okay, I know where I want to go for Scotland, but it's all in my head and I should probably write some of it down. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making a little scrapbook type thingy out of it. So I'll show you some of the pages right now. This like beautiful journal was designed by my friend Anne-Marie Oceanair on Instagram. Check her out. She's a painter just like I am. So she painted this cover and I thought it was beautiful. It is Scotland. So I'm like, what better journal to journal about Scotland in than a Scotland? Journal. So you open it up and uh, one of the first pages is actually Scotland that I wrote out and then you go through it and there's like Inverness, some of the locations I'm visiting. I just like wrote little blurs about them and it's really nice. I really like this and um, I'm just gonna doodle on them and just have fun. And then I have my calendar for the trip, which is right here. So it has all the places we're going to be traveling, like driving to, because Ben and I will be road tripping across the UK and Scotland. This is not done yet. I just have the Outlander filming locations where we're going to be going, because I'm like, come on, I wanna visit the places where they filmed Outlander. And then I'm gonna have some other places, which were not in Outlander, of course, that are just beautiful locations in Scotland. And I cannot wait. These were going to be spending like four days in one of the most beautiful places in the world and that is Isle of Skye. So excited. Also I want your guys advice. Do you want to see a video where I show you guys all my bookmarks? Because I really want to show you guys my bookmarks because I have tons of them and they're all different and unique in their own special way. So I want to know if you guys want to see them because I kind of been thinking about doing one but I'm not sure if you guys want to see like content like that. But here's a teaser. It's a little sprout. It's a little sprout that you put in your book. Stick it in there like that. See like that? And close it and it bookmarks your page. So if you want to see more of those things and even cooler bookmarks, please tell me down below because I want to know if you guys want to see that. Okay, so now we're going to get to the question that you guys ask me at least once every day. I'm not joking. Where do you get your bookshelves? Okay, so I actually built my own bookshelves, aka my dad built them for me. I don't build things. I ruin things if I try to build them or cook them. Not good at either. So I got the actual shelves and the shelving panels and whatnot from the Home Depot. Okay, it's the Home Depot, but I call it the Depot because that's what it's spelled like and I like it better. Hipster. But yeah, these bookshelves are really inexpensive to build. They're probably like $3 per shelf, and they're really just very cheap, very durable. I may be wrong with the pricing, but I just remember it was very inexpensive. So if you're on a budget for bookshelves, just go to the Home Depot. They have them, buy them, build them, embrace them. 
oh my gosh guys i need to show you something oh my god it's so cool you know just reading my book just kidding it's not a book it's a freaking satchel isn't this the coolest thing ever one of you guys one of my lovely subscribers sent it to me and you are awesome and i am just so amazed by how cool this is sally the person who bought me this did not leave their instagram handle or their twiddle handle so i couldn't thank them but i hope you're watching this so thank you so much for getting me this this is so lovely of you and i love it so much like it's a giant book bag yes some music I'm currently listening to, just go on to 8-tracks and literally just look up Celtic music. I've been listening to all those albums, like, I non-stop. I love Celtic music. It's just so beautiful to me. I don't really like pop music or hip-hop, whatever music that's playing nowadays. I think it's okay, but I just really like Celtic music. Like, it's not even funny. I'm not a very musical person, but this music, yes. I've also been listening to this song because ever since watching Outlander this past week, it's been stuck in my head. I love that song so much right now. <laughs> Too many books. I seriously have like five billion books in my bed right now. This is my life. Oh, so on that note, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!